Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the filter activity. So, before going forward, if you haven't watched the previous video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have discussed about the get metadata activity, and this is the continuation of that video. So, today we are going to see about the filter activity. Let me quickly recap about the get metadata activity. So as per our requirement, we are having a source that is the Azure Blob Storage and here it is having four files, two files which is related to the employee information and two files which is related to the payroll information. So in the previous video, we have used the get metadata activity and by using this activity, we are going to get all these files from the Azure Blob Storage and let me try to debug this and we'll be going to show you quickly the output of this activity. So here you can see the output of this activity, the name which is the employee, employee, then payroll, payroll. So all the files are coming on the output of this get metadata activity. So now as per our requirement, we want to keep the employee files in one record set and the payroll files in and the record set. So this is the requirement that we need to do. So for this requirement, we have to use the filter activity. So let's try to understand about the filter activity. You can use the filter activity in a pipeline to apply a filter expression to an input array. So as we have seen, the input array is keeping the four files to our employee files and other to our payroll files. So we want to filter out the employee files by using the expression and after that we want to separate the payroll file by using the expression inside the filter activity. Now what is the type of the property? So first property type is the name. So name of the filter activity that is the string and it's required. Now the type, second is the type so it must be a filter. So obviously this type should be the filter. Next is the condition. So this condition is more important. So here we want to write the expression to filter out the input array. So this is very important. So this property, now the item. So this is going to indicate the input array from where we are going to get the file names in array. So that will be the output of the get metadata and under the condition will be going to filter for the employee first, then payroll. So these four major properties are in the filter activity. Now go to on the browser and here let me try to filter activity search. Now let me try to drag and drop here the filter one. Now the first property which is the name let me try to call this as employee. Now under the setting so here we have to specify the item and condition so these two properties are important. So under the item, we have to specify from where we are going to get this. So as we did not connect this, so let me try to connect this with the employee. And now let me go on the items. So here the output of the child items. So this will be the input array and which is keeping four files. So this will be the item and under the condition here, we need to write the condition. So the condition will be first we need to write the contains and it will be containing the item dot name this should be employee so what it is doing whatever the input string so that will be the item and we are going to get the name property from that because that is having two properties. One is the name and second is the type. So we want to filter on the name. So this will be the name property. And if this name is containing employee, then we want to keep that on this filter. So let me try to debug and we'll check the output of this filter activity. So as per the input, it will have the four files and as per the output of this filter activity, it will be keeping only two files, which is the employee files only. So this is on queue. So here we can see everything got executed. Let me check the output of this employee. 
so the item counts which is the input so that is 2 then the filter item counts so this is important that we have already done the filter for 2 and what is the values for these two so that we can see employee India employee US so these two files are filtered by using this filter activity now similarly we need to do for the payroll one so let me try to drag and drop one more filter activity here and let me put it here and connect with the get metadata and let me call this as payroll and under the setting the item so it will be the same output of the met get metadata of the child items let me click on ok and under the condition here we need to write the condition so first let me write the contains now here we have to specify the item then name property from the array and this should be payroll if this is containing the payroll then we want to keep those files on this filter activity let me click on ok let me try to debug it now so first filter activity will be keeping the employee files and second filter activity will be keeping the payroll files so here it got executed let me check the output of the payroll now so here the item count is 4 and the filter item count which is 2 and this is payroll India and payroll US similarly we can check the output of the employee again so input is 4 filtered count is 2 and this is keeping the information of the employee US and employee India so this is the actual real use of the filter activity so in the next video we will be going to see about the for each loop activity so that by using that activity we will be going to loop through on these two input files for the employee first and second for the payroll and under the for each loop activity we will be going to use the copy data activity push the data into the SQL server so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video